Sonic the Hedgehog 2 takes our favorite little blue blur on Earth and brings the video game to him. There are a ton of franchise references, secrets, and easter eggs to point out, so let's roll! Sonic, voiced by Ben Schwartz, is living the high life in the small town of Green Hills with Tom and Maddie Wachowski, played by James Marsden and Tika Sumter. But like Tom in the first movie, Sonic wants more, so he does what everyone who feels incomplete does, and moonlights as a superhero in Seattle. That's a thing, right? We first see Sonic getting pumped on the edge of a rooftop while squad cars chase a stolen armored vehicle below. Fans will agree that this sequence looks a lot like one of the cinematics from the Sega Dreamcast game Sonic Adventure. By the way, Sonic is calling himself Blue Justice when he's in crime fighter mode, a mode he doesn't necessarily want Tom to know about, so he takes precaution to make sure Tom is none the wiser. Unfortunately, his diversion is a horrible one. Unlike Ferris Bueller, who's able to snow his parents with a recording and a decoy body in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Sonic's attempt falls way short. Watch as Tom comes across Sonic's decoy in the attic. Sloppy work, Sonic. Take a closer look at that decoy. Does it remind you of anything? It's as if Sonic was inspired by Crazy Carl from the first movie and therefore real-life YouTuber Onyx Heart, who created the Microsoft Paint meme sensation Sonic Hega Hug. Wow, Sonic's even creepier with real-world dimensions. Speaking of dimensions, let's jump to the Mushroom Planet for another meme-tastic easter egg. When we last left our villain, Dr. Robotnik, he was banished to the Mushroom Realm by our heroes with no means of escape. But like the saying goes, what doesn't kill you makes you an obviously crazier version of yourself and actually closer to your video game counterpart. Gone is his perfectly coiffed hair, and his mustache is now entirely out of hand just like the Robotnik of the video game series. But still no paunch on the evil mastermind. Did you know that Jim Carrey wanted to appear more plump in the sequel? The higher-ups at the studio shot the idea down, though. Still, if you want to see how Carrey would have looked as a more direct copy of his video game villain, you need look no further than Agent Stone's computer concepts at his storefront evil lair. No, not that Agent Stone. This Agent Stone, played by Lee Majdub. There he is! Boom! Right there! After the French maid concept. Ooh la la. But I digress. Back to the meme. Dr. Robotnik successfully concocts the means to open a portal to another world in less than a year's time. Enter Knuckles, an echidna, and the last of his tribe. When he sees Sonic's quill, Robotnik tells him where he got it and says, I'd be happy to show you the way. This is a play on a popular Knuckles meme that originated in Uganda. In the meme, Knuckles continually asks, do you know the way? Well, Dr. Robotnik certainly does. Knuckles is voiced by Idris Elba, who did a lot of backstory research in order to bring the character to life. According to director Jeff Fowler, he wanted Knuckles to be portrayed more like his earlier appearances in the video game series. His entire existence is about honor and about being a warrior. This is why it's not surprising that John Cena, Dwayne Johnson, and Jason Momoa were also among the actors considered for the role. Elba and Cena shared the screen in the 2021 DC anti-hero flick The Suicide Squad. As for Momoa, well, more on him later. Wouldn't it surprise you to know that Elba is a gamer himself and a huge fan of the series? On being offered the role of Knuckles, Elba said it was mind-boggling. Agreeing with Fowler, Elba adds, he's a warrior from his tribe and English is not their first language. He uses English just to get his point across and move on. He hasn't got time for niceties. We use that construct as a way to start to develop what he sounds like. Of course, Robotnik could care less about Knuckles' voice compared to what the little warrior brings to the table in the way of might. Check out how easily he handles his little blue nemesis Sonic, or this water truck for that matter. As we all know, Sonic hates water. Watching this little red terror blast through that truck in a cascade of H2O must be something out of Sonic's worst nightmare. But did you happen to see the branding on that water truck? Splash Hills Spring Water. Fans of the video game will recognize Splash Hills as the first zone in Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. With the appearance of Knuckles, things look pretty bleak for Sonic, but don't worry, he's got some help on his side as well. Just like in the video game Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic has a new friend in the form of a two-tailed fox. His name? Miles Prower. But most Sonic fans know him by his nickname, Tails. Tails is played by the only cast member to reprise the role from earlier iterations of the character, Colleen O'Shaughnessy. Miles Prower is a super punny name for a Sonic character. Miles Prower, get it? In fact, back during the making of the video game sequel, the creators were going back and forth between that or just Tails. In the end, a compromise was reached, and in-game the character went by Tails, while Miles Prower would be mentioned in the game's legends and backstory. Still, Miles Tails. Tails Prower shows up in the credits before the game's opening scene, and the name Miles can be seen in the background of the game's Casino Night Zone. Tails saves Sonic from Knuckles with the help of his clever devices and a sheriff's squad car, but watch when Tails pulls Sonic from the car as it careens off the cliff. 
you'll see another iconic sight, Tails carrying Sonic while in buttcopter mode, just like in the Sonic video games. Of course, Tails can't carry Sonic forever, just like in the game. Tails upgrades to a red propeller airplane, which he, Sonic, and the newly befriended Knuckles use to take on Robotnik in his giant Eggman robot. It's right out of the Sky Chase Zone in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Sonic Adventure, albeit with a little extra echidna cargo. Sonic and Tails develop a sort of relationship very much like Tom and Sonic in the first movie, especially while they share a DNM sesh in the Siberian bar. DNM, by the way, stands for Deep and Meaningful, a nice intimate chat. This time, Sonic fills Tom's role as mentor. He even tucks Tails under a blanket by the fire just like Tom did with him at the motel in the first movie. Ah, this looks like the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Just like in the games, Tails has a love for mechanics and builds some contraptions to help Sonic and his friends when the going gets tough. One such invention is called the Miles Electric, which helps him to successfully locate Sonic and not so successfully converse with the Siberian locals. Did you know the device also holds an Easter egg? Whenever you catch a glimpse of its screen, pause the movie and look down in the right-hand corner. You should see what looks like some sort of coordinates or a serial number or something. M.D.11.21.92 Sonic fans of a certain age will remember 11 21 1992 was the long awaited release date for the Sonic video game sequel. As for the M.D., MD stands for Mega Drive, the name of the Sega Genesis outside of the United States. Not all Easter eggs are from the video games. Tails has a yellow backpack where he keeps all his techno goodies. If this isn't the first time you've seen it, that means you must have tuned in to the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon series back in the early 90s. In episode 11 of season 2, entitled Droodhenge, Tails wears a similar yellow backpack. In this show, the voice of Tails is performed by Bradley Pierce. Why not Colleen O'Shaughnessy? Well, she didn't start voicing the part of Tails until the Sonic Boom video games in 2014. Ready for some more video game fun? After Sonic and Tails finds the compass that will lead them to the Master Emerald, they're ambushed by Robotnik and Knuckles. Sonic takes the action outside, spin-dashing one of Eggman's drones to smithereens and using part of its casing to snowboard down the mountain, much like he does in the fourth level of Sonic Adventure. Of course, Knuckles gives chase after him and at one point, he catches Sonic off guard, causing him to almost fall off the side of the mountain. Remember how nerve-wracking it would be in the video games when playing as Sonic, you would get hit by an enemy and all the rings you collected would fly everywhere? Well, it's like the same thing happens here. We watch all of Sonic's rings fall away. You can even hear them tinkle as they fall, almost like they do in the games. Knuckles may get the best of Sonic, but Robotnik's backstabbing causes him to rethink his alliances. What seals the deal? Sonic saves his life. After Robotnik retrieves the Master Emerald, the temple collapses around everyone. Knuckles gets stuck under a column and is left to die. I mean, that's what would have happened if Sonic didn't face his fear of water and come to Knuckles' rescue. Watch as Sonic pushes the column. A massive air bubble appears in front of him, and he sucks it in just like he does in the Labyrinth Zone in the first Sonic the Hedgehog video game. Thank God the countdown music from the game doesn't queue up. Ugh, hate that music. Robotnik might be down a partner, but he's not down a slave. It seems there's nothing that would ever cause Agent Stone's devotion to waver when it comes to the evil doctor. He's been holding a candle for him ever since Eggman was bumped into Mushroom Land. Even the name of his cafe is a tribute to Robotnik. How? Did you know that, like the Super Mario series on Nintendo, the Sonic franchise decided to develop a puzzle game? That game on the Sega Genesis was called Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. In the movie, the Mean Bean Coffee Shop is a front that is secretly a fully functional evil lair. Agent Stone engineered it for when his master returns. Even as a coffee shop, it's right up Robotnik's alley. Take a look at the special of the day, Goat Milk Latte. There's even a statue of a goat at the register. This is all in reference to the fact that we learned in the first movie when Robotnik yells at Stone for doing the right thing that he loves lattes with steamed Austrian goat milk. Robotnik also has some new toys this time around. But are they really? Take a look at the new design for some of the badniks. They're shaped like wasps or hornets, giving them the look of the buzz bombers from the original Sonic the Hedgehog video game. Robotnik's even got a sweet new ride. But wait, that's as old school as they come too. The first time Sonic encounters Eggman is in Green Hill Zone, Act 3 of the Sega game, when the evil doctor tries to do away with Sonic with a wrecking ball connected to his Eggmobile. Here's another Sonic 1 reference. While Tom and Maddie are at her sister Rachel's wedding in Hawaii, the ceremony is interrupted by a call from Sonic. Tom's ringtone for Sonic just so happens to be the melody from Green Hill Zone. It's at the wedding that we learned there's another force out to get Sonic, the Guardian Units of Nations, Gun for short. 
This group first made their debut in Sonic's universe in the Sonic Adventure games. The organization even hints at it. Check out the scene when they fly Tom and Maddie back to Green Hills via helicopter. Look at the characters emblazoned in black just under the propeller. SA2 Sonic Adventure 2 Of course, fans of the Adventure series might be wondering, with the existence of Gun in the movies, what does that mean for a certain other nemesis to Sonic? Cue to that post credit sequence. There he is, Project Shadow aka Shadow the Hedgehog. That's not all. Remember when I told you that Jason Momoa was considered for the part of Knuckles? Well, he couldn't take the part because it conflicted with his shooting schedule on Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom. However, rumor has it, a seat is being reserved for him in the voice booth for the part of Shadow. Could it be true? Only time will tell. Until then, your search for more Sonic the Hedgehog 2 hidden secrets and easter eggs continues. Jump on over to our video Did You Catch This in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 right now. I hope you liked this video and found some cool new details you haven't seen before in Sega's Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Make sure you subscribe to Movie Logic for more daily movie facts, trivia, and easter eggs.